Hello, people of the internet, Andrew here. And right now, I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack and I'm about to murder somebody at the exact same time. Because I've never felt like this before. I'm anxious and fucking pissed at the exact same time. So, if you read the title, you probably know what's going on, but if you didn't, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> so, this blue light's really weird. Why did I turn blue? I don't know, I don't know. So I got this letter from my disability caseworker. Not my caseworker, I, we called them and it said it's some sort of automated letter, so it could be some sort of system fuck up or something, but still, it's bad. It says, Dear Andrew Calendar, we are writing to, okay, let me try this again. And <laughs> yeah, now that you guys are blind and can't read, no, it, it's not because I'm blind I can't read. I'm blind and I have the inability to read, so I'm really fucked when it comes to this stuff, so. <sighs> okay. Dear Andrew Callender, I am writing to you about your income support from the Ontario Disability Support Program, ODSP, which is what we call disability in Ontario. So for the rest of the video, I'm just calling it ODSP. So if you don't like that, you can fuck off. <laughs> I am sorry to tell you we have put your file on hold as of July 16th, 2021. Keep reading to find out. So yeah, they put my file on hold because, because that, I'm, I'll tell you in a minute, but when they put your file on hold, you don't receive any fucking money. Like, you don't receive any fucking money whatsoever. And it is like some crazy bullshit, so. Yeah, like, what the fuck, guys? What the actual fuck, guys? It's like... So, like I said, I think this might be a fuck-up, so let's keep reading. You will not receive ODSP income, support, and other benefits while your file is on hold, like I just fucking said. Oh, and that means I also lost my dental, my eyes, care, my fucking physiotherapy, my... The ability to see a shrink. Well, that that fund already ran out, so yeah, whatever. What fucking ever. <laughs> Why did we put your file on hold? This is the good part, guys. This is the fucking good part. We did not receive information about your earnings this month. We need this information to make sure that you still qualify for ODSP and you receive the correct amount of ODSP income support. Hey, Anita. There's a small problem with that, them requesting my income support. I don't make any fucking money because I don't have a fucking job. That's the reason I'm on fucking disability. I am searching for a job, so hopefully that will come out too, but you're telling me you put my account on hold, you're taking my rent money. Like, if I don't get ODSP, I'm fucked. Like, I won't have enough to eat, I won't have enough to pay rent, I won't have enough to do any of that kind of shit. So you're telling me I have to prove my income even though I don't make any fucking income whatsoever. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? <sighs> fuck me, this is pissing me off. Oh, we need to prove your income. I don't make any fucking income, you jackasses. That's partially the reason I'm on, I'm on ODSP, so. Holy fuck. Sorry for yelling, Nita. I know you don't like that. I know. You're a good kid. You're a good kid. You're such a good kid. Oh, God damn it, guys. Like, holy fuck. So, here's how this happened. Like, I was just going out to... I was just going out with mom to help her move a bed into her apartment. So I just checked my mailbox and I got this fucking letter. And of course, immediately, the first thing I said, your account's on hold and you're not getting any fucking money. That drove me into another panic attack. Like I was hyperventilating the whole ordeal. Mom had to literally sit in with me for like five minutes just to calm me down and just reassure me everything would be okay, which we think everything's gonna be okay. Like I'm gonna make an update video in the next, hopefully on Monday when I get to talk to my caseworker because my caseworker is not in for the weekend. 
and then the other caseworkers can help me with this situation. So it's like, ah, Jesus Christ. So we talked to this one, another caseworker. She says, we looked at your file, there's nothing wrong. And she says, these letters are sent out by an automated system. So it could easily, they could have screwed up and sent us some, sent you this. But an automated system can control if you're gonna pay rent or eat this in a month. That's kind of fucked up. If, even if there was, maybe I got a loan from my father that maybe they were talking about. I don't know. Like sometimes my old man sends some money for groceries and especially during last year, during the pandemic, it is, I know the pandemic still on, but during the height of it, mom was laid off. So yeah, if that's the problem, I'll just explain that to them and hopefully everything will be good. But I don't think so because you can make up to $10,000 a year in gift money. Fuck, I wish somebody would be sending me $10,000 a year. And it's like, Christ almighty guys, like, what kind of fuckery is this? Like, what kind of absolute fuckery is this? Okay, this letter's pissing me off. <laughs> so, like I was saying, my caseworker is not at, like, every time I call her, she seems to be, I seem to get her voicemail, she's not in the office, she's doing something, helping another, which is understandable. Claudia's fucking awesome, that's my caseworker's name. And she is like, she's helped me so much in the moving process. She figured out a way to bump me up to the maximum amount of ODSP, like, yeah, yeah. Another theory right now, too, we're thinking of is that since I got bumped up to the max and I'm considered living on my own now, even though I don't make any fucking income, like when I receive my deposit draft, I get a little thing, like you have to write down your income. But for the last, I've been on ODSP since July, 2019. And I've never had to done that, do that. So, because maybe I was living with mom and receiving the board and lodge version of ODSP. Now I'm receiving rent, help with actual rent and groceries and all that kind of shit. So maybe now, even though I'm not making anything, I have to still send that in, which I'll take responsibility, but I didn't send that in, but you could have fucking told me that I'm required to send that in now. I could have gotten an email like, oh, by the way, Andrew, like since you're on your own now, you have to send that in even if you're making nothing, just put zero on the page and everything will be Gucci, but no, no, no. They didn't do that. It's like, come on guys. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, if this is a screw up and if it's just a computer error, like hopefully it, hopefully I did something wrong. That's what I'm hoping. Literally, I'm hoping something did wrong because the thought of knowing a fucking computer can screw up, some algorithm can screw up or something and take your fucking living away from you. That's some scary fucking shit. Hopefully it's something I did wrong so we can correct that and I know what to do in the future. But knowing that this could happen anytime to anybody on ODSP, it's like fucking scary, you guys. Like imagine just, oh, a computer just sees your name and they fuck something up. Because we're just numbers in the computer. We're, we don't even have names, we're like fucking prisoners. So yeah. So either I did something wrong, maybe I forgot to claim some of the money that dad sent me through the last couple years, not the last couple years, the last year. I think it was about close to $800 worth of grocery money. Like, and this is within like almost 14 months. So don't think he just sent me $800 because that's kind of, I wish he would send me $800, but no, it wasn't just dad. Mom was sending me money too because she was worried about the pandemic too. So I think dad sent me more closest. I took a loan for $600 off of him to get because my cat broke my Apple watch. So he says he would send me $600 to buy a new one. And then, then I could pay him back every month. So that is different. But through the pandemic, I think he at least sent me three, $400 worth of fucking groceries. And mom, because she was scared, she had some health conditions. She didn't want to go grocery shopping. So she sent the money to my account so I could go out grocery shopping. 
So if that's the problem, I'm just gonna claim all that, make sure everything's good, because like I said, I can make up to $10,000 a year with gift money. But I'm having a feeling it, either the two reasons were I didn't send in the, what's it, the income verification form or whatever, the like verify your income form or whatever the fuck they call it, and now I'm supposed to that I'm on my own and living on my own, I'm supposed to send it even though I'm making nothing, or a computer algorithm fucked up and just took my entire income away. If that's the case, I'm gonna be really fucking pissed. So I'm gonna make an update for you guys on Monday when I speak to my caseworker, but hopefully mom thinks everything's fine. I'm still kind of anxious about it because you know me, I get anxious about everything. So hopefully everything will be fine. And yeah, I do apologize about the fucking fan noises behind me. It's hot and I have my fucking AC, not my AC. Like it is technically an AC, but it only blows cool air through the vents as like a fan instead of an actual air conditioning unit. And I have a fan sitting right beside me. So if you hear that, I do apologize, but it's too fucking hot in here. So bitch, please. Well guys, like I said, I'll update you guys on Monday. Hopefully everything will be fine. If not, I'm gonna be a fucking lunatic on video, which might be fun for you guys, but I kinda wanna eat this month, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Moral of the story is, ODSP completely fucked me over, and wouldn't it be better to get a phone call, like my caseworker calling me and just said, oh, Andrew, like, you forgot to send that in. If you don't send it in within the next week, we're gonna have to put your account on hold. That's why I'm thinking that it's the computer error issue, because Claudia would have called me if something was up. I would have gotten a phone call. They wouldn't have just put my account on hold. I am sure of that. So then this other lady checked my record and said, there's nothing in your record saying that you did something wrong. So yeah. This is just a complete fucked up situation, I think. And frankly, it pisses me off. So, well, I'm gonna end it off here, guys. But I'm fucking hot and being angry makes me fucking, brings the heat up and like, they say you're so angry your blood boils. It's true, not, not actual bo boiling because, boiling, but when you're angry, it brings your internal body heat up. So that's where the expression comes with. And it's fucking 30 degrees in here. So yeah, it's unpleasant. So probably another video today, but I'm not sure. Like always guys, live life to the fullest and goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers.